Welcome to the Materials Galaxy. In this video you will learn about the structure of graphene, its applications, synthesis methods, and analysis methods. What is graphene? Graphene is a member of the carbon nanomaterials family. Graphene sheets, with the thickness of a carbon atom, are considered as two-dimensional materials. The carbon atoms in it are connected in a hexagonal lattice, just like a honeycomb, or like a woven net at a football gate. The distance between two carbon atoms in graphene structure is about 0.14 nanometers. Of course, graphene also has derivatives such as graphene oxide and three-dimensional graphene that are synthesized and used in appropriate applications. What are the properties of graphene? Graphene sheets have unique properties that distinguish them from other materials. Graphene sheets with the elastic modulus of 1 terapascal and the fracture strength of 130 gigapascals have unique mechanical characteristics. Graphene sheets have high reinforcing properties due to their high specific surface area of about 2630. In addition to its excellent mechanical properties, graphene has other attractive properties, some of which are excellent optical properties, intrinsic carrier mobility, superior thermal conductivity, and barrier properties. These properties have created a wide range of applications for graphene sheets. What are the applications of graphene? Graphene has a wide range of applications, and their number is increasing day by day. Here are just a few of them. Having good biological properties, graphene, has been extensively studied in biological applications, including drug delivery, biosensing, tissue engineering, and bioimaging. Graphene is widely used in energy conversion and storage technologies, including solar cells, fuel cells, water splitting, sensors, capacitors, and most importantly batteries. Graphene is also widely used in emerging technologies such as 3D printing. These are just a few of the many uses for graphene, and will be discussed in more detail in next videos. How is graphene synthesized? Many methods have been proposed for the synthesis of graphene. But among all the methods, chemical vapor deposition, chemical or plasma exfoliation from natural graphite, and mechanical cleavage from natural graphite, are known as the main methods. Among these methods, the chemical exfoliation of graphite has received more attention due to its attractive properties. Graphite is a three-dimensional structure composed of graphene layers. These layers are easily separated, like pencil writing. In fact, graphite is used in the pencil's production. In the chemical method, the graphene layers in graphite are first oxidized to form graphene oxide. Then, graphene oxide is formed into reduced graphene oxide by thermal methods or the use of reducing agents. This material, called RGO for short, has some of the properties of graphene sheets and has become mass-produced and economical. How to characterize synthesized graphene? In this video, the X-ray diffraction analysis and Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy are presented. Other methods such as Raman spectroscopy will be presented in the next videos. As you can see in XRD pattern, the graphite peaks disappear after being converted to graphene oxide. Graphene oxide has a famous peak at 2 theta about 10 degrees. If graphene oxide is reduced, this peak will disappear and a new peak will appear at 2 theta about 26 degrees. Due to the amorphous structure of reduced graphene oxide, this peak is wide and weak. According to the Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, the peaks at 1055, 1230, 1395, 1620, and 1730 were related to the stretching vibration of CO bonds, stretching vibration of COH bonds, deformation vibration of COH bonds, stretching vibration of CC bonds, and stretching vibration of CO bonds in graphene oxide, respectively. The peaks at 3400 to 3500 were related to the stretching vibration of OH in graphene oxide. The peaks at 1395 and 1730 were shifted upwards, indicating reduction of graphene oxide, since these two peaks were characteristic of graphene oxide. Therefore, 
the peaks related to the functional groups on the graphene oxide surface had reduced and some of the peaks had completely disappeared. Other analysis methods will be presented in the next videos. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel and share its content with your friends.